Hey honey bun, so we're back with another video and today we're talking about the monthly cost of living in Hanoi, Vietnam for an expat. If you guys are interested, keep watching. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, I'm the Courtney Williams. If you're new here, my channel is meant to document my journey as a makeup artist traveling around the world with the hopes to inspire you guys to follow your own dreams and to walk your own journey. So as you guys know, I've been living in Hanoi or Vietnam for a good year and I spent the chunk of that time in Hanoi. I spent like nine months there. So I thought it would be great for me to share all of my expenses while I was staying there. So for anybody who's interested in moving to Hanoi, Vietnam, they can have a better understanding of what they think they'll actually spend so they can better budget you know if that's you know if you are about the budget life <laughs> so let's jump on in number one my biggest expense was housing for sure when I first moved to Hanoi while I was still getting settled I did stay in a hostel a really nice one actually and it was I want to say it was like five or six dollars a night I'll link it somewhere up here so you guys can check it out because I did do a hostel tour for it but once I actually got settled, I did get an apartment, which was a studio, and I only paid $300 a month for it, which was so great, and it was super cute. Now, if you're willing to do a shared house and have just a room, you can easily get it for about $200 if you're willing to have a condo or that's something that you're interested in you can expect to pay like six seven sometimes even a thousand so budget accordingly to what your budget is the next expense once i got my apartment was my electricity and that was only like fifty dollars a month for me which was even during the hot seasons all my other expenses like internet and water was covered by my landlord now that may vary just depending on where you are so when you're looking around for an apartment just make sure that you're asking what amenities actually are included what do i actually have to pay for outside of my rent and then negotiate like vietnam is like a negotiation place you negotiate and get what you want okay the next thing that I had to pay for was my cell phone. I do still have my American Sims card, which is with T-Mobile. The only thing is that T-Mobile isn't really compatible with Vietnam. Like they haven't made any partnerships with any of the cell phone companies in Vietnam yet. So to use my T-Mobile service was very expensive. So I thought it'd just be more affordable for me to get a local Vietnamese Sims card, which was um, with the company called Vietel. And it was really cheap, like $13 a month. I get internet I get calling and if I run out of anything I can easily renew it but most of the time it lasted me for the full month so $13 for my cell phone and I was good the next thing of course you got to eat for me I don't really like Vietnamese food as much like I like it but it's not as much flavor as I'm used to being from like the south you know and being so close to Louisiana I mean I'm, I'm used to flavor and since this was my first time having an apartment since I was abroad and I actually had like a kitchen girl y'all know I was cooking okay so I cooked more than I actually ate out and that saved me a lot of money but um it was really cheap i mean like i want to say whenever i would go buy groceries like i would go to the local market buy all my vegetables and things and that would only cost me about four dollars a week and then i would go to the grocery store and i would buy like you know my eggs my milk are like little toiletries and things that i needed around the house and that would cost me about a good nine dollars so thirteen dollars all together would cover all my grocery expenses which calculated together is about $52 for the month. I don't really eat out as much or when, you know, when I was there, but when I did eat out, most of the time it was Western food because I really don't like Vietnamese food that much. But if you're eating out, Vietnamese food is gonna be the cheapest thing that you can get. Anywhere from 30,000 Vietnamese dong to about 90,000 Vietnamese dong, just depending on where you go. If you're eating out at like a fast food place in Hanoi, like your Popeyes, your Domino's, things like that, or your McDonald's, you can expect to pay anywhere from 80,000 Vietnamese dong to about 150,000 Vietnamese dong. Now, if you do decide to eat at like places that are not local, which are either Western food or like Indian places, which is normally where I would eat if I did decide to eat out, 
you can expect to pay about 300,000 Vietnamese dong for that meal, which is about $15, I wanna say. But I'll make sure I calculate everything for you guys down below, okay? The next expense I had was um, my motorbike. Initially, when I moved to Hanoi, I did rent a motorbike for $35, which was super cheap USD because I rented it from a local. Now, if you're renting from like a shop or something, you can expect to pay more of like $50 a month. Now, later on, I was having some problems with my motorbike, so I ended up purchasing a motorbike, which I only paid $127 for the motorbike, and that was like a one-time fee. So if you decide to do that, that would definitely save you more money through the period of time that you're gonna stay, you know, if you're staying long-term. Now, if you decide you don't wanna ride a motorbike at all, and you don't wanna rent, and you don't want to buy a motorbike the only other option you'll have is to take the bus but that really isn't a viable option because it takes really a long time even though it's really cheap it's like 9,000 Vietnamese dong for a one-way ride you're probably going to end up taking an uber or a grab grabs and ubers depending on how long you're going or what the distance is can be anywhere from you know 20,000 Vietnamese dong to 200 Vietnamese dong just depends on the distance and that's like one way now if you decide you're gonna rent a motorbike or you're gonna buy a motorbike your next expense will be your gas which is super cheap like for me all I pay a week was about 70,000 Vietnamese dong which is like three dollars which for the month was only $12 in gas, okay? Like, that's so cheap. I can't even remember paying so little for gas in America, okay? So, that was like my basic things. Housing, electricity, cell phone, gas, and my motorbike. Now, after that, the next thing that was a big expense for me was like when I decided to travel. Sometimes I would take like a weekend trip or if I had like a few days, I would travel like throughout Vietnam. And then other times I would travel outside of Vietnam like to Bangkok, Malaysia, other little places that I really enjoy. For me, I would always spend about $500 or less. Like if I was traveling outside of Vietnam, it would be about $500, including my flight, including my hostel and things. Sometimes I stay with friends. But if I was traveling inside of Vietnam, of course things are a bit cheaper, so I would pay about maybe $300 for everything for like a few days. So that's gonna vary depending on how much you're gonna be traveling while you're actually in Vietnam, and that's really up to you. So plan accordingly and budget accordingly. The next thing that was a big expense for me was entertainment. And this is like, you know, if I'm going out and I'm partying, for me, I only spent about $100 USD a month. And that's only because y'all, I really don't drink that much. Like I, I'm not a big drinker unless it's like, it gotta be some real cool circumstances for me to be drinking a lot. Like I'll sip a little bit here and there, but I ain't really a huge drinker. And I do like, to buy balloons if you guys have ever seen the balloons i do like to buy those and then i also use my entertainment expense as like my eating out expense as well because like i said i normally cook more than i than i eat out but when i would eat out i was eating at like indian places you know so that was really my expense so all in all a good twelve hundred dollars you'll be set <laughs> like everything that I just mentioned was under $1,200. So, and everything can vary depending on, you know, how much you eat out, how much you drink, how nice you want your apartment to be, how um, comfortable you are with driving a motorbike or not. You know, those things you need to take into account if you do decide to move to Hanoi, Vietnam. All right, guys, so this is it for today. I hope you guys found my monthly cost of living in Hanoi, Vietnam super useful, and I really hope it helps you guys put your budget together because no matter where you're going, even if you got a lot of money or just a little bit, you still have to plan and budget so that you can enjoy wherever you're going to be staying. As always, don't forget to leave me a comment down below, like this video, and remember, people will stare, make it worth their while, and I'll see you guys later.